Uh, we have, uh, in fact, six Ginetta races tomorrow to enjoy. Uh, but our final Jetta action on a Saturday afternoon here at Alton Park provided one of the races of the day. It was very close at the front at the start. Pole sitter Scott McKenna ultimately losing the lead through the first sequence of corners to Mackenzie Douglas, who spent much of the rest of the race desperately defending that race lead. Matt Shaw did well to stay on the track further back, but did hold on to third place and would dominate the AM class. Great battle mid-race between Alex Toff Jones and a recovering uh, Connor Garlic, who had previously been off at Lodge, then got involved in some close quarters racing at the same corner a few laps later. At the head of the field, McKenna was hounding Douglas, desperately trying to force a mistake out of the race leader, and eventually he got uh, the better run, as indeed was Connor Garlic doing further back to Alex Toff Jones. There was some great side-by-side -side racing across the line, uh, with Lodge Corner and Old Hall Corner providing much of the entertainment. That was where the move was made by McKenna. A better run out of Old Hall. He cleared Douglas round the outside at Cascades, but unfortunately, in attempting to scarper away, exceeded track limits once too often, picked up a five-second penalty, which meant that it was actually Mackenzie Douglas who claimed the overall victory, with Matt Shaw victorious in the amp class. A brilliant race. Absolutely fantastic. Almost textbook start to finish. Um, I couldn't have done any more. We were patient. We, we sat out the laps that we needed to sit out, learnt from where Mackenzie was strong and where he wasn't so strong. And I eventually, um, after the homework, uh, lined up the move, executed it and cracked on with my race as as planned um, and unfortunately those those track limits that we all dread came back to get me uh, whether it's there's a little bit of inconsistency there with the track limits um, penalising uh, amongst the grid, I'm not sure but nonetheless a great race, a trophy for the team um, and I'm looking forward to Monday. I'm quite happy the car lasted quite well um, this is very much new territory for us um, as the cars ran within mine and my brother's team. Um, we're not engineers, we're drivers, so we've, uh, we've got a lot of homework to do, a lot of work to do on um, learning how to craft a, a proper race car that can not only qualify but can last a race distance properly as well. So I'm very, very happy with the start we've made uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing um, how much further we can go come Monday. Awesome way to start the season. I mean, good race from the start, managed to get past Scott. And then, uh, I, I guess, tired leg at the end, made him get by, but obviously a penalty went my way, so I'm very happy. Yeah, very enjoyable. I mean, it set the moods high for the rest of the weekend. So, yeah, hoping to continue into Monday. It's Matt Shaw. Hey! Hey! Yeah, it's great. Um, obviously, it's a new category for me this year. I've been in the Rockies of GTA last year, so I've stepped up and really enjoyed the challenge. And today was a great day. Qualifying was, was super. And then, um, yeah, we had a, a good solid race. We'll have a look at the, the data, but it felt pretty consistent uh, over the over the race, which I was, I was pleased with. Obviously, lost a bit of time on the first corner, went a bit wide and uh, wrestled the car back onto the track. But um, but after that, it felt, felt really solid. At the start of the race, Scott McKenna did his very best to try and hold on to the advantage off the line, which he managed to do. All of the drama really was behind him, as former GT Academy rivals Matt Shaw and Nick White were both in trouble. Shaw had contact with another car, and Nick White went onto the grass in a void, and Shaw was out, and White had it all to do to try and reclaim the lead of the class. This was the battle for the AMP class victory. Carl Garner first slipping past James Townsend, before Nick White would eventually find a way through as well on the run over Clay Hill and set about chasing after Carl Garnett to do battle for class honours. Meanwhile, within the pros, it was the fight for second place that was keeping us entertained. Mackenzie Douglas, with a brilliant move around the outside of Old Hall Corner, managed to relieve Luke Garlic of second place, and he then scarped off into the distance, leaving the Garlics to engage in what was a fascinating duel in very challenging conditions. Nick White, though, seemed to have the conditions mastered, slipped up the inside of Carl Garnett at Lodge Corner, and claimed the AM class lead, a class he would win in the end by two and a half seconds. But it was Scott McKenna who managed to claim a victory on the road for the second time, but this one he gets to keep in round number two. Beating his sibling in the brotherly rivalry by 35 thousandths of a second. Yeah, definitely a close one. I managed to get a switch back in the last corner. Luckily, I managed to get past him. Yeah, definitely good close racing and hopefully more of it later. Just wait and see how the weather goes, to be honest. Hopefully it dries up, but I doubt it. So we'll just stick with the wet and go from there. Car Motorsport Ginetta GT Championship campaign. 
I think we got a bit unlucky at the start. We had a bit of contact, which I will have to look, go back, look and see what happened. But um, got unlucky with contact at the start, jumped behind Luke, but managed to get past. And the pace was good at the end, but obviously um, Scott and Clear managed to pull ahead. So uh, looking forward to the next one. Obviously, no, not ideal conditions um, coming into the, coming into Monday. Obviously, dry previous, so a uh, bit of a change. But I think we adapted well, so I'm happy. Yeah. Rest after day with a top step of the podium. He holds the trophy aloft, and then we'll get them all bunched up again. And not, it's not the, the win top. that it makes me so emotional. It's we've not we've not had a day off in months. We've got three juniors, two GTPs. We only really decided on Wednesday night that I do the weekend. The car was brand new on. Tuesday, the amount of hours and effort and disappointment and sadness um, and investment, not just money, just time, people's effort into bringing a car across the line first was it's just unbelievable. These big teams here have got years and years and years and millions of pounds of testing and development and there's some Take Mackenzie for example, he's, he's up and coming when I was his age, I was, I was the same as him, absolutely ruthless and he's a, tough, he's a tough little lad to race. So like I said, it's not the race win that makes us all so emotional, I think it's the effort. Um, having started up my own team with my brother, to be able to now say we can produce a car that can win a race, can get double pole, it's, it's, it's heavy, it's heavy. They were very tough and it did start raining heavily. Um, at one point in the race, just tried to manage it the best I could, backed off, um, just to make sure we were comfortable, um, and just just bring it home, <laughs> just bring it home. Third in the armor category, we'll bunch them all up on the top step of the podium for the final photographs to be taken. After a, a tricky turn one, um, felt like I had the grip on turn one, and then uh, it ran out quite quick as I went round, so it took a bit to the grass, and then saw Matt coming across. Um, had to take avoiding action for that, which obviously bogged me right back down to uh, I'm not sure where, but ne near the back. Um, and it took quite a long time for the tyres to even feel like you had any grip. Uh, caught the two in front um, and just zero visibility really. But when you book two cars that much spray, um, it was just trying to pick your moment to get past where you knew you could do it cleanly. Um, in, in the end, we managed to do it just in time. Uh, the GTA to, to GTP is uh, quite a good transition. It's um, it's the opposite on tyres. Um, GTA on the old tyres that we ran on was uh, go fast cold. This is the opposite, obviously, with slicks and, and the wet tyres as well this year. So, yeah, still learning and um, hopefully get stronger as we go on. So, the third race of the weekend in the Pro Tire Motorsport Geneta GT Championship once again saw McKenna versus Douglas on the front row of the grid. But unlike on Saturday, it was Scott McKenna who held on to the advantage through the first corner a clean start but it turned into quite a robust race for those further back the leaders though were remarkably evenly matched not a huge amount of overtaking amongst the lead group but you got the feeling that at any moment the action could break out they were lapping within a tenth of a second or so of each other for most of the race with amp class leader nick white tagging along with the pros as well further back matt shaw was recovering nicely after his non-finish earlier on in the day they're moving up into third place in the amp class whilst alex top jones was tipped into a spin down in his lobs by Paul Livesey in the closing stages. Matt Shaw then went for second in the AM class. That move, unfortunately, ended less successfully. He clattered into the side of Carl Garnett's car. Both cars sustained damage and in attempting to get into the pit lane with his damaged car, Matt Shaw had a further rotation and retired. But at the front of the field, Scott McKenna held on to claim the race victory. To be honest, I didn't even know I got second place. I didn't see that he got a five second penalty, so that's a nice surprise. Uh, I think I caught a curb on the front right and I think the front right damper has gone so I mean I did well to, to, to stay where I was to be honest. He stands on the top step of the podium proudly. <laughs> Let's go! We're absolutely over the moon. That's three out of three on the road. An unfortunate penalty um, on that first one. Cost us a clean sweep of the weekend. Double pole uh, and it would have been three wins so we can't really ask for much more than that. The team have worked day and night um, to make sure this car was prepared to, to win a race. and uh, I've done my fair share of homework over the last few days trying to figure out how to drive one of these things. Uh, I hadn't driven one of these previous to this weekend, so I'd, another steep learning curve for me, uh, but we took it, took it in our stride, and, uh, and here we are. Yeah, it was definitely a tyre management game for me, personally. Um, after yesterday, uh, I really noticed how badly tyres would wear throughout the race. Um, and you could go on to struggle quite, um, quite a lot if, you, if the tyres were overworked. So for me, it was just about maintaining a comfortable gap so that I wasn't constantly under pressure. 
um, and when I was under pressure, making sure he, he had a problem from behind um, from his uh, from his other competitors. And then the final few photos to be taken. Keep the pros honest for a good portion of the race. Um, Tires started to go off a bit, and I saw the gap I had, and thought, let's just bring this home now. <laughs> we've, we've got a comfortable lead, so yeah, really pleased.